that's just all right. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I'm your humble narrator, and welcome to Mayan Death Robots. The game, oh my god, the name alone uh, lets you know that this game is super awesome. Uh, it's basically a combination of worms and Tetris. You can build your own terrain and like a bubble around yourself and uh, also set up some weapons and try and destroy your opponent and their terrain. Dumping them into the water is pretty effective. We'll do a quick match. Many, many uh, maps to enjoy. They have uh, different hazards, some of them, although not quite as much as I would like. Um, we'll go ahead and try out something random. And this is one I haven't done before, so we'll see what the hazards here are, if there are any. Many, many characters. I've not unlocked the last three, but I plan to do a video for all the characters, uh, profiling all the characters once I do unlock them, because this game's freaking awesome. Apuk, the god of death, has a, a rocket launcher and a grenade. Uh, Chalk, the god of rain and lightning, basically shoots lightning bolts either vertically or horizontally. Um, Hun Bats, the Howler Monkey God, throws giant boulders that break into smaller pieces, and he can also throw like a series of bananas. Probably one of my favorite, just because his projectiles are like straight, all of them. So you can kind of block the top of the arena to stop people like uh, Chalk from dropping lightning bolts upon your core, because that's what you're supposed to be protecting. Um, getting a little ahead of myself. Akna, the goddess of birth, has basically these things that spawn and either crawl along or dig through the earth and then explode uh, when they reach something. x Balink has two different types of rockets. One uh, pulls things into it and the other uh, is like a rocket and explodes, push the, pushes things away from it, which is really, really cool. Uh, the God of the Sun basically has a nuke and a flare. He'll shoot a little thing on one turn and then it'll explode horribly on the second turn which makes for some pretty devastating combos. I'm pretty scared to be going up against him, but that's just all right. And then finally, you got It's Mana, the god of Earth. The um, He basically does horizontal and vertical, but he shoots drills that kind of uh, go through a bit of terrain before they actually explode, which is pretty useful if you're close to the core, but there's like just a little bit of wall. Go ahead and shoot shoot a drill into it. We're gonna try him bots. Because he is one of my favorites. Oh, yes. And, uh, it can get pretty crazy pretty quick in this game. <laughs> hopefully it... Hopefully I'll have a victory here. So you got your little, uh, followers. I'm on the left side, presumably. Opponent's on the right. But if I do end up on the right side of the screen, or the opponent ends up on my side of the screen, the villagers will actually start to pummel, uh, your opponent, which is pretty cool. As our power core is spawning in, we're gonna drop down in the spaceship. We got fucking pioneers and all kinds of shit. Trying to, to take my villagers. Trying to take them away. I'm just gonna throw a boulder over there. We'll see how it goes. He's setting up, uh, yeah, a flare. So that's not gonna be good. We did get him though. Yes. Wow, that sucks. Every time uh, you kill some of their villagers, your explosion gets bigger. So my rock is currently a uh, 10% bigger explosion because I presumably killed some of his villagers. And he just dropped a nuke right next to me, which is unfortunate. Um, I'm going to put this up here just, just in case. Seems like a good idea. And this is the Tetris part. You build your own terrain and uh, try and keep yourself protected. Oh, there's the nuke. It drilled right through the earth. It didn't matter at all. Yeah, this guy is definitely uh, not very nice. And I've got fucking dudes all over me. So I'm going to go ahead and jump, which actually can create a wall as well. It's kind of nice. There. And I created a little bit of terrain by jumping up there. We're both getting our asses beat by these little uh, villagers. I could turn around and try and pummel him, but then I'm destroying my own terrain. It's a really interesting balance in this game, trying to figure out what the right thing to do. If I do end up uh, going down to zero HP, which I will shortly, it basically gives my opponent a free turn, which is not something that I want. <laughs> there comes this nuke. It's not going to be good. 
but we're almost to his core. So I gotta keep going. Oh! Oh no! Yeah, I'm out. But we're gonna go ahead and spin. I think this happens after a set number of turns. And there's a bunch of different items. You can like spawn angry snowmen that beat the shit out of people just like the villagers. Oh, it's such an in-depth game, especially with, uh, you know, a co-op partner. Or not a co-op partner. A competitive partner, a real-life human. It gets really, really difficult, which I think is super cool. Um, relatively easy to beat the computer opponents, but I, I can't really complain because I think this game is meant to be played with human opponents. Probably. So, for my score breakdown, I've given the controls an 8 out of 10 for my and death robots. They are relatively fluid, it also has full controller support, which feels really, really nice. You can, like, shorten the length of your throws just a little bit, which I find pretty useful. Yeah, that was a good choice to make there, I think. We're knocking this core around now, so I'm gonna throw another boulder. We got the fun factor. I think it's a 7 out of 10. It is above average, um, but it feels a little bit clunky at times. Oh, I destroyed the boat. No more Vikings. Why didn't I think of that before? <laughs> um, yeah, especially competing with a real-life person, it gets really, really crazy and really, really fun. But uh, if you're playing it by yourself, it might not meet expectations. The difficulty I've given a 6 out of 10, like I said, it's not exceedingly difficult uh, unless you have an opponent who knows what they're doing. And uh, while it is fun to beat the computer up, <laughs> um, you really have to set yourself up for failure if you, if you want to be challenged. A bit of a balancing act. I'm not quite sure how to, how to leverage it just yet. But it's alright. It's alright. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna go uh, jump over here. Hopefully not into the water. Yeah. The replayability for this game is definitely a 10 out of 10. So many gods to unlock and uh, just the nature of the game with the destructible environments and building things. Ooh, a garrison. Mr. Garrison! Well, first I'm gonna shore up my defenses here. Because that's the thing to do most of the time. Can't be too offensive. Although I do love being offensive. As as most of you do know. Replayability is a 10 out of 10. Um, I can see myself sitting down. You'd have to teach your friends. But after that point, oh my god. Some good times are guaranteed. The innovation I've given the 9 out of 10 is basically a combination of Worms and Tetris. Um, in my view. But it's done really well at that. Um... I would like to see some additional gameplay mechanics, more weapons, things like that. Uh, but all the gods having different weapons, I think it's really cool. I just knocked myself in the water. Damn. See, that moving backwards slightly when you do stuff is, is uh, quite troublesome. A lot of gods have that. Uh-oh. He's got that nuke. Oh, it's fucking going down. Oh, no. Now I'm gonna eat my words about the difficulty. Throw bananas! Throw bananas! Uh oh. It's gonna be so bad. More bananas! For the graphics, I've given it a 7 out of 10. It is above average. Um, the villagers have kind of a pixel style. Oh, god damn it. But the gods do not. I really do like the style of the gods and the villagers as well. But, um,. Yeah, I'd like for the villagers to be a little bit more refined to fit with the aesthetic of everything else in the game. Not too bad. Uh, definitely still above average. I enjoy the cartoony kind of style. It works works pretty well for me. Are we gonna win? Yeah, we're gonna win. We got it. Totally. <laughs> um, the music I've given a 6 out of 10. It does feel relatively nice at some points. It, um, it feels really Mayan and like awesome and then at other points it kind of feels like filler so six out of ten slightly above average not particularly uh something i enjoy listening to but um definitely passable the sound effects i've given a five out of ten if you have villagers screaming woohoo 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 in your ear it really gets uh graden kind of quickly
I do like the the different sound effects, like the lightning effects for one of the gods is really cool. But mostly it's just explosions. And while the explosions are done that well, uh, I don't like repetitive sound effects. It kind of grates me just a little bit. Um, I still didn't knock it too hard. Just average. 5 out of 10. I think is fair. Holy shit. I just fucked myself. Yes, I did. We need to throw this softer. Just a little softer. See how you can tweak that? That's so nice. That's where the good control score comes from. The uh, story I've given a 5 out of 10 as well. It is, uh, you know, Mayan culture, which I think is pretty cool. However, there's not really a reason given, like, did the villagers build the Aztecs, or are these robots in the shape of the gods, or are these the actual gods, or... I find myself a little bit confused, but nonetheless, I still enjoy it. I don't understand. I just hit his thing with my thing? Oh, it works. It works so good. All right, that's how we'll win this one. The uh, level design I've given a six out of 10. Like I said, I'd like to see more traps and things like that. I think it would add a lot to the game. There is, you know, the pit on the bottom and just knock people into it and that's kind of fair. But uh, I don't know, I think a lot more innovative things could happen. So friends, Mayan Death Robots, definitely a game with a lot of action to offer. Uh, I hope you'll look out for the character profile video that will be coming probably in a week or two. And uh, check out this game on Steam if it looks like something you'd enjoy. If you have a couple couch buddies you can sit down and play with, then uh, I'd highly suggest it because it's hours of fun. Make it into a drinking game. If you check out my Neuro Border Challenge, you'll see how that one usually goes. Uh, the total score for... My Death Robots is a 69 out of 100. That is a 3.45 out of 5 stars. 3.5 out of 5, 3.5 stars out of 5. That's not too bad. It falls in about the average range for me. I think with a little more graphical polishing and a little more storylining and things like this, it could be a, a great game indeed. Right now it's just good. It falls good, you know? Um, yeah, I hope you did enjoy this episode, friends. And if you did, I hope you'll like comment, and or subscribe. This has been Mayan Death Robots. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I hope to see you in the next one, friends. Until then, bye-bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, Mayan Death Robots.